Hi hey everyone, Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It's currently the 13th of May, 2012. Actually, today is Mother's Day for everybody celebrating out there. Happy Mother's Day. And on here right now, you are looking at a visible slash infrared imagery and actually enhanced infrared that's why and to the overnight hours you see these uh, colors in the oranges actually is indicating some low-lying clouds across the sea of japan here and also you can see the uh, light uh, pollution across much of japan including the kanto plain here where tokyo is very apparent where those light sources are coming from but over across much of japan right now very high very fair weather actually due to high pressure dominating there is some uh, rain showers along the western coast but nothing too significant now where the significant weather is is down towards the south and towards the west into southeastern china because you have been seeing a copious amount of rainfall and you see this whole band of cloud cover this is the stationary front or the mayu season stationary boundary that has been bringing an abundant amount of rainfall. And by abundant, I mean for the past week, over 500 millimeters in some locations out here. And this is actually just showing from the TRIM satellite or the Tropical Rainfall Measurement Mission from NASA. These darker areas of purple is indicated here across central China. That's where those heaviest amounts of rainfall is. And that's actually indicating about five to 600 millimeters of rain in just the past seven days. And even extending down towards the south around the Guangdong province into Hong Kong, you have also been seeing some very heavy rainfall so this is some of the heaviest on the map here across this area actually you do have another area of dark reds and into the uh, brown, darker reds and even into the purples here just north of australia this is from the remnants of cyclone uh, 17 sierra but that has been dissipating though and really this area in here is uh, all very rain foresty out here and it does see heavy amounts of rain during the duration of this parts of the season a little bit above average but this shouldn't be creating too much of a damaging situation but here in china this does create massive flooding has already uh, killed 30 people out here and now unfortunately going into the next 72 hours more rain is expected now this is the rainfall accumulation and you can see in these darker areas of purples up to 100 millimeters could be seen here along the Guangdong province and off towards the northeast even extending out towards Shanghai you could be seeing some more heavy rainfall as this boundary does continue to linger now good news at least going into the mid to early part of this coming week it does look like this boundary will shift a little bit off towards the east should start to reduce the rainfall but all in all it does look like some sort of instability is going to be lingering throughout the week Thus, more rainfall and thus more flooding could be very possible out here. Now, this is the 48-hour forecast from JMA. I did mention that low-pressure area is starting to work its way off towards the east, extending out towards Japan, so that will be bringing some rainfall on your Monday and basically going into Tuesday and eventually Wednesday morning. But you see that trough extending all the way back off towards the west here, even out towards northern Thailand. You have that low-pressure center. And basically, southeastern China, you're going to be continuing to see this rain rainfall even though it will be lightening up still more rain will likely be occurring out here like I said though this is a seasonal thing and it's the Mayu stationary boundary but this year it has been a rather strong and intense but we did see about two years ago some heavy flooding down here near Hanai and now it looks like that flooding is actually out in this area this year and also you've been seeing some severe thunderstorms off towards the north around Mongolia but like what really sets this up is just the uh, high pressure down here the West Pak High now this is starting to build in during the summer months because it's getting stronger as the heating of the atmosphere heats up going to the, the tilt of the earth here but then the high pressure off towards the north the Siberian high begins to weaken between these two a trough or a stationary boundary sets up and this is really clearly demonstrated on the satellite picture if you know exactly where to look but really just continuing to spin up here in southeastern China and yet more heavy rainfall is going to be expected here and then going into June this boundary starts to shift farther and farther north and then you'll actually start to see it set up across Japan and um, basically central and northern China and even into Korea. That's what we call the bayou season out here in Japan. So really uh, starting to really feel the full effects of these rainy seasons. But then as this continues to shift north and farther, farther north, and also takes the jet stream with it. And what that also means is into the tropics, uh, a lax of wind shear as that jet stream pulls away and thus the potential for more development of tropical systems. And that's going into June and July, 
you really do see these tropical systems kick up more and more. But now looking down here towards the south across the Philippines, you are seeing a decrease in rainfall as our little invest area pulls away from the country. But still, some afternoon thunderstorms are continuing to blow up here. And you can really see the whole sea breeze effect occurring here into the afternoon, the evening hours. See those uh, thunderstorms just blowing up there like popcorn across the central portions of Luzon. Well, those are what we talk about when we see those afternoon pop-up thunderstorms. Actually, much of the country is currently experiencing that and you can also see this as you look down towards the south into Malaysia as well here you start to see those thunderstorms blow up and also on this map you can kind of pick out Manila there with that light display I was talking about at the beginning of the update but that is all for right now everybody I do have one more thing I want to quickly mention here and that is the 2012 Western Pacific weather a typhoon contest basically just submit your name and when you think the first typhoon could form out here in the Western Pacific, and if you do uh, guess correctly, you actually could win a $25 gift card uh, from iTunes. So uh, just a little heads up on this, and if you do want to join, please post in the comment box below. Uh, at the uh, contest site, or also here on YouTube, you can post as well, or on our Facebook or Twitter account. But that's all for right now, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great day.